गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिनेश मेघलानी ट्यूटोरियल्स लेट अस स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन दैट इज वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन द वर्ड स्टार्टिंग विद ए इट्स ए वोकेबलरी सेशन नंबर वन इन दिस सेशन ऑल दो द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन बट आई हैड गिवन फोर ऑप्शन विद एवरी क्वेश्चन एंड इन ऑल दोज फोर ऑप्शन आई ट्राई टू कवर ऑल द वोकेबलरी फ्रॉम ए टू जेड राइट इट मीन्स इफ यू वॉच माई ऑल द सेशन ऑन दिस सीरीज you are comfortable with all the words that are being generally asked in any competitive exam either it is ssc banking or management entrance or any person who wants to build up his vocabulary right or who wants to think that he requires a good vocabulary for cracking any of the competitive exam for more videos you may subscribe uh uh my website www.dineshmiglani.com my facebook page that is uh dinesh miglani tutorials uh, for any query uh, you may uh, send me at my whatsapp number 0921551435 or my email id legalbuddy@gmail.com uh for uh, videos you may subscribe my youtube channel @dinesh_miglani tutorials on youtube right you, uh, there you may find videos relating to ssc banking cad bba government job etc i expect from you to share my videos on your facebook wall as well as with your friends so that they will also be benefited by this let us start with the series of the one word substitution the first is a place where animals are slaughtered for the market right so first of all there is a need to understand the slaughtered right slaughtered means killed right uh, now just take the options first option is arsenal right Uh, when we talk about this word arsenal arsenal is a place where weapons are kept arsenal is a place where weapons are kept right so that place is said to be arsenal so that's not my answer right second one is kernel well when we talk about this word it means vital part the kernel means simply vital part of something right so uh, that's not my answer vital part or we can say that is central part okay that's not my answer right next we have alloy alloy means mixture of two metals we know that alloy means mixture of uh, two metals when two metals are mixed so we uh, the thing that we make that is said to be alloy right that's not my answer so hence we can say answer is said to be abattoir right uh, so that is a place where animals are slaughtered for the market right jisko hum hindi mein kya kehte hain this is primarily named as kasai khana this is primarily named as kasai khana where animals are killed right for selling in the market so hence we can say that answer to my question is said to be c right so in this we have understood four words first one is arsenal a place where weapons are kept second is kernel a vital part right or central right third one is alloy alloy is mixture of two metals right that jisko hindi mein kya kehte hain mishra dhatu and then we have abattoir that is taken as kasai khana next one is shortening something by omitting parts of it right to make shorten something right when we talk about to make shorten something so that is so a uh, so sort of abbreviation like in english when we talk about mp the full form is member of parliament the full form is a uh, member of parliament right if i want to write in a short way so that i will only write mp i will only write mp right so that is shortening of something by omitting parts of it right so i have just omitted this part and this part so i just made abbreviation of the mp that is said to be member of parliament here i can say answer to my question is b right but there is a need to understand two other words also right the first one is abscond when we talk about this term abscond abscond ko hindi mein hum kehte hain bhag jana expond ko hum hindi mein kya kehte hain bhag jana right but when we try to understand the exact meaning of the term abscond that is to depart or to leave secretly to depart or to leave secretly right that is said to be abscond you use a term in legal language that is said to be absconder right absconder is one who has departed from a place secretly right jisko hum hindi mein kya keh dete hain bhagoda right so that is said to be absconder so first word here is abscond the meaning of the term abscond is to depart or leave any place secretly without giving information to anyone right the second one is abbreviation that you know right next we have altercation when we talk about the altercation altercation is sort of a dispute or fight altercation is sort of a dispute or fight right so we have two terms here 
वन इज ऑल्ट्रकेशन वन मोर वर्ड इज देयर दैट इज सेट टू बी ऑल्ट्रेशन वन मोर वर्ड इज देयर दैट इज सेट टू बी ऑल्ट्रेशन बट द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑल्ट्रेशन इज चेंज द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑल्ट्रेशन इज चेंज तो बोथ आर सेट टू बी होमोनिम्स ऑल्ट्रकेशन एंड ऑल्ट्रेशन देर इज ओनली द डिफरेंस इज ऑफ द वर्ड सी राइट हेयर तो हेन्स वी कैन से दैट द मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म ऑल्ट्रकेशन इज डिस्प्यूट एंड ऑल्ट्रेशन इज चेंज राइट नेक्स्ट वी हैोगेट abrogate is to abolish something right abrogate is to abolish something right or we can say that to end something that is said to be abrogate right here we have understood abscond right abbreviation altercation and abrogate let's have the next one to give up a throne voluntarily right it's a special term to give up a throne when a king gives up its throne voluntarily without any forceful right so that term we use that is specifically term we use that is said to be abdicate right the abdicate is simply to give up a throne in favor of someone right so that is said to be abdicate okay so generally uh, when uh, the new elections are there after that uh, the old prime minister right he abdicated his uh, post for someone that is simply to give up a throne voluntarily right leave is also to leave something kisi cheez ko chhodna right alteration that i told you that alteration means change alteration means change in the last ppt right renounce right it's it, uh, that um, when we talk about the meaning of the term uh, renounce that is also to leave right isko hum hindi mein kya kehte hain tyagna right so generally when we talk about this term renounce so that is uh, basically used for leaving the world for leaving the worldly things leaving the worldly things right so that we said renounce we use a term renunciation renunciation that is basically used for buddhism that is basically term used in buddhism where uh, mahatma buddha has renounced the worldly things he re he renounced this family he re he renounced this kingdom right so there we can say that although the meaning of the term is the same right but slightly different so here appropriate usage to give up a throne voluntarily is abdicate right hence we can say that answer to my question is a next one is do away with right when we talk about do away with डू अ विद इन जनरली हिंदी में हम क्या कहते हैं समाप्त करना किस चीज को कंप्लीटली एंड कर देना समाप्त करना दैट इज डू अवे विद राइट तो जिसे जनरल फ्रेज डू अवे विद समाप्त करना राइट वी नो दैट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट डू अवे विद द एबोलिस इज द सेम मीनिंग एबोलिस टू एंड समथिंग राइट नेक्स्ट वी हैव फ्यू मोर टर्म्स द फर्स्ट वन इज एबस्टेन एबस्टेन एब्ल्यूशन एंड एलूफ राइट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट एबस्टेन abstain is to refrain yourself from something abstain right ablution ablution is washing ablution is wo of uh, washing right kisi cheez ko dhona nehlana that is said to be ablution right so generally this ablution term is used for sacred uh, bathing right so there we say ablution or we can say uh, to wash something that is said to be ablution right aloof is Uh, to fool, mala who is not aware of the present situation, he is aloof to it, right? So that is said to be uh, aloof. So here, answer to my question is said to be A. A becomes my answer. Next one is original inhabitants of a country, right? Let's have the options first. First one is allegiance. The so allegiance is loyalty. When we talk about this term allegiance, allegiance is basically loyalty, right? Uh, Allegiance is basically said to be loyalty, right? Uh, then we have ambivalence, right? You know that amb means both, right? Valence means who can use his both hands at the same time. That is said to be ambivalence, right? Uh, amnesty, amnesty is pardon. Amnesty is pardon, right? That is किसी को शमा करना. किसी को शमा करना. That is said to be shama. That term is used for amnesty, right? So next we have aborigines. It's a basically original image inhabitant so here we can also interlate original origins right so we can say that the original inhabitant of a country are basically named as ab origins right so here we have used these words allegiance basic loyalty right uh, then we have ambivalence the amb means both valence means a person uh, ambivalence who is to uh, uh, ambivalence means both ways uh, for, uh, uh, for this and this right then you have uh, amnesty amnesty is pardon right ab origin ab origin is the play is the persons who are the original inhabitants of a country right uh, next word we have next uh, one word substitution is an addition 
a book in which it has been condensed right sometime you have an enlarged edition right and sometime you have an condensed edition right so what does it mean cold right when we talk about that an edition which is condensed condensed means that has to be cur curtailed or that has been abridged so and hence my answer is said to be abridged edition right so generally two type of editions are there first one is enlarged edition right and the second one is abridged edition right here we can say that when we talk about abridged the abridged means which has been curtailed that is a very small edition right in which the book has been condensed okay so next we have few more terms here first one is abbreviation we know that abbreviation to curtail something from the proper word suppose a member of parliament that's mp right ameliorate next one word is ameliorate that is to improve the meaning of the word is to improve right so basically improving from the previous situation right so that is said to be ameliorate a m e l i o r a t e uh, next we have ambiguous ambiguous means not clear ambiguous means not clear right so that we use the term ambiguous so here answer to my question is an edition a book in which it has been condensed the so answer is said to be abridged edition right next one is to do away with the rules question is to do away with the rules right so we know that when we have the things here amenities amenities are basically facilities right means if you work at some place the old type of amenities are available to you so uh, that are facilities that's not my answer amiable right when we talk about this term amiable amiable means who is lovable who is lovable or we can say who is of friendly nature who is of friendly nature that person is said to be amiable right next one is amnesia amnesia is basically loss of memory amnesia is loss of memory loss of memory that is said to be amnesia right so here to do away with the rules right to do away with the rules with uh, not obeying the rule right so that is said to be abrogate right hence i can say that answer to my question is d that is said to be abrogate right next one is to move faster right uh, when you have a car in a car you have accelerator in a car you have accelerator means with that you increase the speed right so when we talk about to move faster that is to accelerate to move faster that is said to be accelerate right uh, let, let's have few other terms abundant or ample abundant and ample both are the synonyms to each other right means in good quantity in big quantity abundant right uh, ample both have the same meaning next we have amplify right amplify means to broaden something amplify means to broaden something to make it clear to broaden something to broaden something for clarifying means if something is not clear right for clarifying it we make it enlarge we make it broader so that term we use that is said to be amplify right here we can say uh, answer to our question is said to be move faster is accelerate right because of the accelerator right so hence we can say that answer is said to be b next one is uh, which can be approached right we know that which can be easily approached that is accessible that's our answer because we have a term assess a double c e double s right it means uh, to approach someone the which can be easily approachable that is said to be accessible right a uh, few more terms are there amphibians amphibians are those animals which can walk on water amphibian right okay a amorious and aberrant when we have this term amorious amorious is basically used for moved by sexual love is a basic term moved by sexual love means if a boy is attracted to a girl only because of the sex so that is said to be amorous right or or the vice versa right uh, next we have aberrant aberrant means abnormal the next word is aberrant that simply means abnormal right what we can say which can be easily approached that is accessible right which can be easily approached okay uh, we have a word amphibian amphibian basically means uh that person who can uh, that person or animal who can uh, move on water right amorous moved by the sexual love right and then we have aberrant that is abnormal so here answer to our question is said to be c that is said to be accessible right let's have the next question here 
तो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू अ कस्टम वन सेल्फ इन ए न्यू क्लाइमेट चेंज राइट टू अ कस्टम वन सेल्फ इन ए न्यू क्लाइमेट चेंज बिकॉज हेयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द क्लाइमेट दैट इज क्लाइमेटाइज राइट हंस आंसर माई टू माई क्वेश्चन इज एक्लिमेटाइज राइट तो एक्लिमेटाइज मीन्स टू कस्टम वन सेल्फ इन द न्यू चेंज दैट इज सेट टू बी एक्लिमेटाइज राइट तो वी हैव फ्यू अदर ऑप्शन ऑल्सो द फर्स्ट वन इज एबोर राइट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस टर्म एबोर एबोर मीन्स टू हेट एबोर मीन्स टू हेट और वी यूज वन मोर टर्म दैट इज सेट टू बी डिटेस्ट टू हेट सम वन डिटेस्ट सम वन दैट इज सेट टू बी एबोर राइट सिमिलरली वी वी यूज वन मोर टर्म एबोरेंस ए बी एच ओ डबल आर ई ए बी एच ओ डबल आर ई एन सी एबोरेंस राइट तो दैट इज ए नाउन एंड इट्स ए वर्क राइट दैट इज अ बेसिक डिफरेंस तो इफ यू हैव ए वर्ड एट एनी प्लेस एबोर और एबोरेंस तो बोथ मीनिंग इज सेट टू बी दैट रिलेटेड विद हेट राइट नेक्स्ट वन इज एब्निगेशन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट एब्निगेशन इज सेम एज टू रेनसिएशन रेनसिएशन टू लीव समथिंग टू लीव द वर्ल्ड और वी कैन से सेल्फ सेक्रीफाइस सेल्फ सेक्रीफाइस राइट तो दैट इज सेट टू बी एब्निगेशन राइट द मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म एब्निगेशन इज सेल्फ सेक्रीफाइस राइट एबोमिनेट दैट इज द टर्म इज हेयर एबोमिनेट इट्स मीनिंग ऑल्सो टू हेट इट्स मीनिंग ऑल्सो टू हेट हेयर वी मे यूज वन मोर टर्म दैट इज लोथ एल ओ ए टी एच ई तो हेयर वी कैन से दैट ऑल दीज आर दिनोनियम्स टू एबोर हेट डिटेस्ट एबोमिनेट और लोथ ऑल दीज आर दिनोनियम्स राइट एट हेयर आंसर टू माई क्वेश्चन इज एट दैट इट इट इज सेट टू बी एक्लिमेटाइज राइट नेक्स्ट वन इज ए पार्टनर इन क्राइम वेन वी टॉक अबाउट ए पार्टनर इन क्राइम राइट Let's have the options here one by one. First one is said to be abortive, right? You you all know about abortion. You all know about abortion to kill a child in the womb, right? The abort. So when we talk about this term abortive, that is something unsuccessful, right? When we talk about this term abortive, that is something unsuccessful. U n s u c e w s unsuccessful, right? or without any fruit right so the here answer to my question is not abortive right uh, then you have uh, this uh, abrasive uh, when we have this term abrasive right abrasive means rubbing something rubbing away abrasive right to tending to grind right so this uh, means that abrasive remarks can wear away a listener's patience So means that is, is something that is very irritating, right? So that is said to be abrasive remarks, right? So hence, answer to my question is not C. Uh, then we have alias and accomplice. When we talk about alias, alias is generally used for a person. Suppose uh, my name is Dinesh Miglani, right? And I am also called as Guruji. I am also called as Gu, right? So he, it may be stated that Guruji alias Dinesh Miglani means both are the नेम्स ऑफ द सेम पर्सन राइट जिसको हिंदी में कह देते हैं उर्फ राइट तो दिनेश मिगलानी उर्फ दिनेश मिगलानी उर्फ गुरु जी तो दैट इज टू दिनेश मिगलानी अलियास गुरु जी राइट दैट नॉट माई आंसर अकम्पलिस इज वन पर्सन हु इज ए पार्टनर इन क्राइम तो हेयर माई स्पेसिफिक आंसर इज सेट टू बी अकम्पलिस तो आंसर टू माई क्वेश्चन इज सेट टू बी डी राइट तो हेयर वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस थ्री मोर वर्ड्स अबोर्टिव अनसक्सेसफुल एलियास That is urf, which in Hindi we call it urf, right? Then you have abrasive, that is said to be rubbing away, right? Or we can say irritating. And next we have accomplice. That's the answer to my question. A partner in the crime is said to be accomplice, right? Next one is responsible for one section. Responsible for one section, right? Means your accountability, right? So here we can say that answer to my question is said to be accountable. Accountable is the person who is responsible for his own action. So generally, we talked about responsibility, authority, right? Uh, accountability. So that term is used in the management also. Accountability. Accountability means your own, uh, your own responsibility for your act, right? Let's have few more options here. The first one is said to be abscond. Abscond. I earlier told you that abscond. When we talk about this word, abscond, right? तो एब्सकोन्ड इज टू डिपार्ट सीक्रेटली अर्जर आई टोल्ड यू दैट जिसको हिंदी में क्या कहते हैं भाग जाना भगोड़ा एब्सकोन्डर राइट तो मीन दैट टू लीव ए प्लेस विदाउट टेलिंग एनी वन तो वी कैन से दैट टू लीव सीक्रेटली 
that is said to be abscond right next we have absolve absolve is pardon absolve is pardon right so absolve is a verb here right so we have also used the term amnesty earlier amnesty is also pardon but amnesty is noun right so absolve is verb so that is that's um, the its meaning is absolve kisi ko shama kar dena kisi ke jo galti kari hai that is said to be absolve right that's not my answer right so next we have abstruse so when we have this term abstruse the abstruse is obscure right that is uh, difficult to understand or which what we can say that not clear abstruse is abstruse is basically obscure that is said to be difficult to understand difficult to understand right or we can say that uh, abstruse uh, that generally we use that term as abstruse philosophical principles right means which are very difficult to understand right so here my answer is uh, question is responsible for one section that is said to be accountable right abscond means to leave departly to leave secretly right absolve to pardon someone right to give pardon abscuse is obscure difficult to understand right next one is make one self familiar with a person or a thing make one self familiar or a person with a thing we know that acquaint the the, the general term for it said to be acquaint right so acquaint is to make uh, a one self aware with the other things right when you go to at some place so generally it is expected from you to first of all acquaint yourself with the new environment with the new persons so that you are comfortable with all the things to make yourself familiar with other persons right so let's have few more issue there few more terms are there the first one is said to be abstract right when we talk about this term abstract which is theoretical in nature abstract is generally a uh, theoretical in nature right so sometime you have abstract topics so that are basically a uh, theoretical in nature right uh, next we have um, that uh, term we have that is said to be abstinence the next term is abstinence the so abstinence means to restrain yourself from eating or drinking to restrain yourself for drinking and eating abstinence right so generally abstinence is also used in case of the sex right means if you uh, if you just uh, 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 if you just restrain yourself for making sexual activity with others so that is also said to your abstinence right uh, then we have abysmal Ab abysmal is bottomless right or we can say bilkul gira hua so kya kehna abysmal that term is used abysmal ignorance right means bahut zyada ignorance right so abysmal is also used in the extreme or we can call it as bottomless right so generally we use this term as ab abysmal poverty or abysmal uh, ignorance means bahut zyada ignorance bahut zyada poverty right so that there we use this term abysmal right so here answer to my question is said to be to make oneself familiar with a person or a thing so you can say your answer is said to be acquaint right uh, let's have the next question here the fear of freeing a person from a charge right means when you free a person from a charge it means acquit we know that in the court we use the term acquittal right to means that to uh, free a person from a charge or uh, by verdict that is said to be acquittal right let's have a few more uh, words here uh, the first one is said to be accord accord is basically an agreement accord is basically an agreement between two or more persons if there is any fight so when an accord has been made means an agreement has to be made right accommodate when we talk about this term accommodate is means to adjust in harmony to adjust yourself accommodate right to uh, to adjust with a given situation that is said to be accommodate right uh, accolade accolade is award of merit award of merit accolade award of merit right jab kisi ki kafi prashansa ki jaye because of that person has achieved some award right that is basically accolade right so here what what we can say that the question is the act of freeing a person from a charge or verdict that is said to be acquittal right and accord is basically agreement accommodate to adjust yourself so when we say that to accommodate myself with the company right so i can say i have adjusted myself with the company right accolade it's a award of merit next is someone worst in the interpretation of 
numerical data someone versed in the interpretation of numerical data right so basically we use the term actually right but in generally actually is a very specific term used for uh, the person who work in insurance to works making for insurance policies those are said to be actuaries right and because the person who worked on insurance policies they are very well versed with the interpretation of numerical data so that's why here my answer to this question is said to be actually here right let's have a few more terms accessible we know that easy to approach earlier i told you that right next one is accessory that is additional object additional object useful but not essential thing right so generally when we buy a car there you purchase accessories right or you if you buy a scooter or bike you purchase accessories so these are useful these are useful but not essential these are useful but not essential so these are said to be accessories right uh, next we have acclivity acclivity is sharp up slope of a hill means if you are going to on a hill where the slope is so much sharp that is said to be acclivity right so that is said to be acclivity sharp slope of a hill sharp slope of a hill right so that is said to be acclivity right so here answer to my question is said to be c actually becomes my answer right let's have the next question a substance that can stick or cause sticking right that is adhesive a substance that can stick or cause sticking adhesive you know about adhesive stickers right if you have a sticker in which some uh, gum is pasted behind it so that is said to be adhesive stickers right so here answer to my question is said to be a let's have the few more terms accommodate to adjust yourself earlier we have done right accomplice accomplice means uh, to help someone in crime so that is said to be accomplice right or we can say a partner in crime when we talk about this term accomplice accomplice is basically a partner in crime that is said to be accomplice right next we have accord accord we have done that is said to be agreement the meaning of the term accord is said to be agreement right here answer to my question is a a substance that can stick or cause sticking so our answer is said to be adhesive right the next question is the period between the beginning of poverty and adulthood right when we talk about this term poverty it's basically term used in the muhammadan law muslim law that's an age between 12 to 13 years to adulthood that is said to be at 21 to so between age is said to be adolescence this kon kehte hain jawani ki age that is said to be adolescence right so let's have a uh, few more terms here the first one is said to be accost accost means approach and speak first to a person approach accost means uh, approach and speak first to a person approach and then speak to the person speak first to a person that uh, term is said to be accost right when two young men accosted me i was frightened because i thought they are going to attack on me right accost means when you go to someone and then speak to that person that is said to be accost right to approach someone right uh, next one is accotre right that is to equip to equip someone to equip someone with uh, something right that is said to be accotre and next we have accretion accretion we know that uh, that is growth accretion simply growth or that we can talk about simply increase right so that is said to be accretion right so here we can say that we have taken few terms first one is accost right the period between the beginning of poverty and adulthood is answer is said to be adolescence right few more terms accost is to approach someone and then speak a quarter to equip someone accretion to increase or grow right next one is to falsify a thing by mixing or baser ingredients right means when you mix bad things in something so that is said to be to falsify a thing by mixture some ingredients right this ko hindi mein kya kehte hain milavat that is basically in hindi language is called as milavat right so that is adulteration that is basically said to be adulteration right so here we can say the answer to our question is said to be c right that is said to be adulteration let's have a few more terms here the first one is accrue the first one is accrue right when we talk about this term accrue that is said to be come about by addition right so generally 
we have accrued income if you are a student of accounts you have talked about accrued income right accrued income is income that have to be given to you but you have not actually got right that is said to be accrued income right uh, acerbic acerbic means bitter or sour in taste acerbic means bitter or sour in taste sour in taste that is said to be acerbic right similarly you have acerbity that is also the somewhere same thing that is uh, that uh, is something bitterness in the speech or temper that is said to be acerbity so here we can say that bitterness bitterness in speech or temper bitterness in speech right or temper right so that term we use named as acerbity here right we can say that to falsify a thing by admixture or baser ingredients actual answer is adulteration and few terms we have used here accrue right that is accrued income uh, acerbic that is something bitter or sour and acerbity that is bitterness uh, that it is a bitterness in speech or next one is a person who pilots or travels in a balloon airship or other aircraft right now let us try to answer it we know that a one who pilots or travels in a balloon airship that is aeronaut right that we know about this term that is said to be aeronaut right so that our answer to my question is said to be a you also know about aeronautical engineering right so that here we can say answer is said to be a right let's have a few more terms here let's take it uh, one by one the first one is the first term is acidulous right the first term is said to be acidulous right so when we talk about this particular term acidulous and uh, similarly we have acidulous right that means that term is basically taken as slightly sour or sharp that is taken as slightly sour right jisko hum khatta keh dete hain right or we can say sharp right so here we can say that the meaning of this term acidulous is said to be slightly sour or sharp right the next one uh, the next one we have acetic acetic is wine gary acetic is uh, that term we have vinegar right so some uh, something which have a taste of the vinegar right so we can say that the salad has an exceedingly acetic flavor right तो जिसमें सिरके का फ्लेवर होता है तो दैट इज सेट टू बी एकेटिक राइट तो वी नो दैट व्हेन वी गो इन एनी रेस्टोरेंट फॉर द डिनर तो देयर वी हैव अनियंस इन एकेटिक अनियंस इन विनेगर राइट तो दैट इज सेट टू बी एकेटिक फ्लेवर राइट नेक्स्ट वन वी हैव एक्नॉलेज एक्नॉलेज इज टू रिकॉग्नाइज और एडमिट एक्नॉलेज इज टू रिकॉग्नाइज और admit right so here we can say that answer to our question is said to be aeronaut a becomes our answer next is science of flight of aeroplanes that is aeronautics science of uh, flight of aeroplanes that is said to be aeronautics right here we have few more terms here first one is acme right that is said to be a ki acme that is peak acme is peak or top position of a particular hill that is said to be acme peak or you may also call it as pinnacle p i w n a c l e that is also called as pinnacle acme right for example suppose that the hill is there so that is said to be acme or peak or pinnacle of the hill right next one have acoustics acoustics is basically science of sound acoustics is science of sound right this is said to be acoustics acute acute is severe problem right So when we have this term acute, the acute is taken as a keen, brief, or severe problem. Basically, that is term used for severe. When we say that the problem is acute, means very serious problem, very severe problem. So that is the meaning of the term acute, right? Here, science of flight of aeroplanes. Answer is said to be aeronautics. Fear of height means a person who feels fear from height, right? So we know that when we talk about a fear, fear meaning of fear is phobia. right and height is arrow to be our answer is said to be aerophobia right so here we can see answer to my question is said to be c that is said to be aerophobia right so here we have few more terms here first one is acrimonious 
एक्रीमोनियस मीन्स बिटर इन वर्ड्स एक्रीमोनियस मीन्स बिटर इन वर्ड्स और वी कैन से बिटर इन कॉमेंट्स तो दैट इज सेट टू बी एक्रीमोनियस राइट नेक्स्ट वन वी हैव एक्टी एक्टी एक्यूट सेम एज टू एक्यूट शार्पनेस तो एक्टी मीन्स समथिंग विच इज सेट टू बी शार्पनेस दैट इज सेट टू बी एक्टी राइट एडेज द नेक्स्ट टर्म दैट वी हैव दैट इज सेट टू बी एडेज राइट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस टर्म एडेज एडेज इज बेसिकली ए प्रोवर्ब it is basically a proverb or we can say a wise say wise saying right that is said to be adage right here uh, fear from height our answer is said to be aerophobia right and acrimonious is something bitter in words acuity sharpness adage that is proverb or we can say a wise saying right there is much truth in the old adage that tools fools and their money right so means number of adages are there right so these are basically proverbs person who claims to have great love for understanding of what is beautiful in nature and art right means a person who have great love for understanding of what is beautiful in nature art etc right so we know that a term that we use in english aesthetics for love for art beautiful things so here our answer is said to be aesthetic Answer is said to be aesthetic here, right? Few more terms are there. Adamant, adamant is inflexible. Adamant is inflexible, right? जो किसी बात पर अड़ जाए, उसको हम क्या कहते हैं? Adamant, who does not want to change, right? That is said to be adamant, right? Next we have adapt. So here we have few terms here. Adopt, adapt, right? And adapt. A D E P T, right? There is a, although they seems to be the same. adopt is used for adoption right when you uh, take something as your child that is to adopt that is said to be adopt right adapt adapt means to make yourself acquaint or to modify or to change yourself with the environment that is said to be adapt right or you can say uh, to make yourself comfortable with the environment with the new conditions that is said to be adapt right and the next one term is that is said to be adapt a d e p t that is basically expert adapt is basically expert in some subject expert in something that is said to be adapt a d e p t right and next we have addiction the next term is said to be addiction addiction is something habitual need to uh, it's addiction to something means when you are a habit of something and when that habit becomes a need so what we can say the specific term that we use for addiction is habitual need that is said to be habitual need so that term is basically named as addiction right so here we can say that answer to my question is said to be aesthetic right that becomes my answer next one is a list of headings of the business to be transacted at a meeting right means uh, if you are participating in a meeting so the list of the terms that you are going to talk about that is basically agenda of the meeting that is basically agenda right so here we can say that answer to our question is said to be agenda right uh we have few more terms here first one is said to be addendum first one is said to be addendum right addendum is basically addition right or is basically text uh, stated as appendix to a books appendix appendix to a book right sometimes few pages are added in the end that is said to be appendix so that term is used for uh, that term is used for addendum or we may call it as addition right address that you know to address a meeting right or that 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 may be proper place uh, address of something right adel a w d l e uh, the adel is to drive crazy this idiotic plan is confusing enough to adel anyone right or we can say become rotten adel we have uh, to drive crazily to drive crazy way right means not clear about the things so that is term said to be adel here we can say that answer to my question is said to be agenda next is to increase the gravity of an offense or intensity of a, a disease means uh, to increase something the gravity of an offense right or to we can say that to increase the intensity of a disease or a situation that is aggravate aggravate means to intensify the situation right that is said to be aggravate here answer to my question is said to be aggravate right 
we have few terms here adhere when we talk about this term adhere to adhere is basically to stick something to stick with something right jisko kehte hai chipakna right uh, that is adhere so i am adhere to my words right adapt i earlier i told you that is expert adapt right adherent adherent is supporter or follower adherent is supporter s u w p o r t e r supporter or follower so that is said to be adherent right so here answer to my question is said to be aggravate a becomes my answer because to increase the gravity of an offense or intensity of a disease so that is said to be aggravate right here we can say that a becomes our answer next one is someone who attacks someone who attacks that is aggressor means you uh, uh, who shows aggression to someone means someone who attacks that is said to be aggressor right uh, here we have few terms here adjacent adjacent is adjoining or neighboring adjacent basically adjoining or neighboring right suppose two persons a and b are sitting right so i can say that a sits adjacent to b suppose c is also there so we can say that both a and c are sitting adjacent to b right uh, then we have adjunct adjunct is something uh, added or attached right uh, generally non essential or inferior adjunct is something added with something where that it's not essential that's something inferior that's said to be adjunct adorn adorn is basically decorate adorn is basically decorate right adorn is basically decorate wall paintings and carved statues adorn the temple means uh, that provided the decoration to the temple so here answer to my question is said to be b someone who attacks that is said to be aggressor right next is fear of pain fear of pain phobia right that is basically agliophobia when we talk about fear of pain that's basically agliophobia that's the correct answer here a fear of pain is agliophobia right we have few more terms adroit admonition adulterate adulterate you know that adulteration we have uh, already studied milawat so adulterate means uh, to is a process of making adulteration that is said to be adulterate okay to make impure by adding inferior inferior substances that is adulterate right adroit adroit means skillful adroit adapt skillful all have the same meaning right admonish what do you mean by this term admonish admonish means to warn someone admonish mean to warn someone or we use a one more term here reprove r e p r o v e to reprove right so admonish is to give warning to someone right so when we have a sentence here when her courtiers questioned her religious beliefs mary stuart admonished them right means he warned them basically this admonish is termed as warning right suppose in the case of jat reservation in haryana right the government has admonished means warned about their results right so there we have the term admonish right that is fear of the that is warning about something okay so here uh, the question is fear of pain that is said to be agliophobia next one is a person who claims the existence of god is unknowable right means ek aisa aadmi jo ye bataye ki god ko aap god unknowable hai god ko hum pata nahi kar sakte existence of god unknowable hai right so that is agnostic that is basically said to be agnostic means jo ye kahe ki god ka nahi pata existence god hai ya nahi hai that is said to be agnostic right we have few terms here advent when we have the term advent is arrival advent is basically said to be arrival right means advent of god on the earth advent right arrival adversary right uh, next word is adversary adversary is enemy adversary is enemy or opponent adversary is enemy or opponent ages ages is somewhere in the shape of shield or defense ages is shield s h i e l d shield or defense राइट right, मीन्स किसी चीज को सेव करने के लिए जो चारों तरफ डिफेंस क्रिएट की जाती है जो शील्ड बनाई जाती है दैट इज सेट टू एजिस 
Right. Here the answer is a person who claims the existence of God is unknowable. He is said to be agnostic. Right. But few terms are there. Advent. Advent means arrival of someone. Right. Advent of chief minister at my place. That is advent. Adversary. That is enemy or opponent. Next one is ages. That is said to be the shield. Next one is fear of open space or crowd. Right. That is phobia. Fear is there. Right. The open space or crowd. The here answer to my question is said to be agoraphobia. It is a specific term here. Means that a person who is fear of open places or the crowd. The special term that we use for the person is said to be agoraphobia. Right. A few terms are here. First one is affable. Let's try to understand one by one affable. Affable is easily approachable or warmly friendly. When we talk about affable means who is very uh, friendly in nature. Right. The person who is friendly in nature that is easily approachable. Right. So that is the meaning of the term affable. Adverse. Adverse circumstances or we can say unfavorable circumstances or hostile circumstances. Adverse unfavorable circumstances. That is said to be adverse circumstances unfavorable. Right. And next we have that is said to be airy. Airy means nest of a large bird of prey. That is eagle or hawk. Right. So basically airy is nest of a bird. Nest of large bird. Right. Nest of a large bird is called as airy. Right. That's basically used for eagle or hawk. Right. So what we can say here that a fear of open spaces or crowd is said to be agoraphobia. Right. And other affable, friendly in nature, airy means uh, it's a nest of a large bird and adverse that is said to be uh, unfavorable or hostile. Belonging to a foreign country, alien. Belonging to a foreign country is said to be alien. Right. Uh, that is said to be the person who does not belong to our country. So the person who have come from outside, they are said to be aliens. Right. Let's have a few more terms here. The first one is said to be uh, affirmation. Affirmation means positive assertion. Means affirm something. Right. To confirm something. So basically affirmation is said to be confirmation. We may take it as confirmation that is basically used in the positive sense. Right. Next one is affix. Affix means to attach something. To att attach something with some uh, particular point that is said to be affix and affinity. Uh, that is affinity. Affinity means kinship. Affinity means kinship. Right. Means jahan par hum kafi attached hai. Hamari jo basically rishtadari hai. That is said to be affinity of us. Uh, she felt an affinity with all who suffered. Their pains were her pains. Right. Means affinity mere closeness jo log hai. Tarun hai kuch pain hoti hai. So I feel affinity towards them, right? So that is said to be my kinship. Their answer to our question is said to be alien. Arose hostility or indifference, right? Arose hostility or indifference, right? So uh, that is said to be basically uh, hostility or indifference, right? Uh, so that is basically said to be alienate, means where you show in, uh, hostility or indifference. So that is basically said to be alienate, right? To hatana kis cheez ko. So next uh, we have affliction. Affliction means state of distress or causing of suffering. Affliction. Affliction is basically causing of suffering, right? Affront. Affront means to insult someone. Affront is basically to insult someone, right? And a guest. A G. The next term is August. August is basically horrified. Horrified means adara hua. August is basically horrified. Horrified primarily means adara hua, right? Or we can say a dumbfounded. Then we we use one more term that is said to be dumbfounded, right? That is also used uh, for a person who is very uh, horrified or August, right? So here I can say that. Arose hostility or indifference in someone that is said to be alienate, right? Hence, answer to my question is said to be B. Next is allowance paid to wife or legal separation that is said to be alimony. Means uh, the money that is paid to the wife after a legally separation. Jo court deta hai legally separation ke baad mein ki wife ko apne ye paisa dena hai, allowance dena hai, that is said to be alimony, right? We have a few more terms here. The first one is said to be. Aggrandize, 
right so when we have this term aggrandize that is increase or intensify basically that is increase in power or intensify in power that is said to be aggrandize right next one is aggressor aggressor is attacker next one is said to be aggressor aggressor is basically attacker right and uh, agglomeration a w g l o m e r a t i o n agglomeration means basically collection or heap heap means dheri collection or we may call it as a heap right so that the term that we use uh, that is said to be agglomeration right that's a collection of something or you may call it as agglomeration of something right here answer to my question is said to be alimony means allowance paid to a wife on the legal separation that is said to be alimony next is a story in which ideas are symbolized as people right sometime we have a story where ideas are uh, symbolized as the people right so that is said to be allegory a w l e g o r y right jisko hum hindi mein kya kehte hain roopak that is said to be allegory right a story in which ideas are symbolized as the people that is said to be allegory right uh, we have terms here first one is agog agog is highly in highly curious or we can say highly excited highly excited or uh, do you may call it as highly curious that we use for agog right agitate to agitate means agog then we have uh, that is said to be agitate means to disturb right you may, you all know about the agitations right uh, agrarian agrarian a g r a r i n just change the spelling here the word here is said to be agrarian that is pertaining to the land or cultivation agriculture so basically pertaining to the land pertaining to land or cultivation right so that is basically said to be agrarian so we know that india india is a agrarian society uh, around 70% of the persons are directly or indirectly related to agriculture or cultivation right so that is agrarian so this term is used for agrarian here i here answer to my question is said to be allegory commencement of words with the same letter sometime we have the words that start with the same letter right uh, so basically they are said to be alliteration that they are basically said to be alliteration all these terms are used in english so they are said to be alliteration right here we have a uh, few more terms are there alacrity means eagerness alacrity means eagerness right uh, then we have alchemy so alchemy is basically making of the gold it's a process of making of the gold it's an experiment right alchemy so what we can say that alchemy is a medieval form of speculative thought that aim to transform base metals into the silver or gold means it's a thought that uh, the base metal can be converted into gold right and next one is alcove alcove is recess that is said to be recess right an alcove adjacent to the living room right so that is said to be uh, recess right here answer to my question is said to be alacrity that is said to be eagerness an annual calendar with positions of the star annual calendar with the position of the star that is said to be almanac where uh, all things are been stated about the stars where uh, which star is there that is said to be almanac right uh, alienate alienate means to make hostile someone try right, to separate the alienate is basically to make hostile right or we can call it as to make separate right uh, elementary supplying nourishment that is elementary it's not elementary e l e it's elementary uh, that is supplying nourishment supplying food supplying nourishment to something uh, elementary supplying nourishment n o u r i s h m e n t right so that is basically used in case of the plants and animals that is uh, supplying nourishment right alimony earlier i told you that that's an allowance paid by the husband to his wife in case of judicial separation right so it's a payment made to an ex spouse after divorce that is said to be alimony right so here answer is an annual calendar with positions of stars that is said to be almanac right a raised place on which offering to a god are made 
रेस प्लेस ऑन विच एन ऑफरिंग टू आर गोल्ड आर मेड राइट बेसिकली दैट प्लेस इज सेट टू बी ऑल्टर ए एल टी ए आर राइट इन हिंदी दैट इज कॉल्ड एज बेदी जहां भगवान की मूर्ति को रखा जाता है दैट इज सेट टू बी ऑल्टर राइट वी हैव एल आई ए डबल एल ए वाई राइट एल आई बेसिकली टू काम और पैसिफाई समथिंग टू काम और पैसिफाई and when we have alloy a w l o y that is mixture of two metals right next one is allege to state without proof right to make allegation on someone so that is stated as allege to state without proof to speak without proof uh, that is said to be allege to state without proof right that is said to be allege uh, next one is allegiance when we have this word allegiance that is said to be loyalty l o y a l t y allegiance is basically said to be loyalty right so here answer to my question is a raised place on which offerings to a god are made that is said to be altars so this is end to our first session of one word substitution vocabulary although the name of the session is one word substitution but in every sentence i try to cover four words so that after watching all my sessions on this you are comfortable with all the important words that are generally used in the english language for any competitive exam either it may be of gre gmat ssc banking cat zat or any management entrance examination thank you very much you may send your feedback to me at my email id legalbuddy@gmail.com or connect me on my facebook @dinishmiglani tutorials my whatsapp number 9215514435 i expect from you to share my videos on your facebook wall so that your friends will also be benefited by this thank you very much